Let's talk about definitions in geometry. Now let's review what a conditional statement means. And if we have a conditional statement A implies B, and then the Euler diagram would look like a smaller circle A within the larger region B. In other words, if you have A, then you also, if you are in within region A, then you are also within region B. But in a definition, the two things, the two parts, uh, really occupy the same region. So instead of writing them one inside the other, they really occupy the same space. And then we use a funny notation, A, and that, that arrow has an arrow on both ends instead of just heading one direction. And we read this as A, and we use a funny notation, IFFB, which means A if and only if B. So definition can be written as this if and only if that, A if and only if B, and it implies two conditional statements. A implies B and B implies A. Now normally a conditional statement and its converse are not logically equivalent, but if, a, if we have a definition and it's for real, then though both the statement and its converse are true. Here's some definitions. A triangle is a polygon with three sides. This definition implies two other conditional statements. If it is a triangle, then it is a polygon with three sides. If it is a polygon with three sides, then it is a triangle. And we could write it, write it in if and only if form with by saying a figure is a triangle if and only if it is a polygon with three sides. And then we could also write the shorthand triangle and then the double arrow, three-sided polygon. Here's another definition. A mitten is a sock for the hand. Okay, you could distinguish between mitten and glove, but for now let's just leave a mitten being a sock for the hand. This definition implies two other statements. If it is a mitten, then it is a sock for the hand. If it is a sock for the hand, then it is a mitten. And if and only if form, it would be, it could be, it is a sock for the hand if and only if it is a mitten. Or mitten and then that double arrow, sock for hand. Doesn't matter which one you set up first in the definition because it doesn't matter which direction you're going. You will conclude both directions.